this nonsense statistic that's been presented that one in five women on college campuses is being raped. It's just not true. It's just not true. The actual statistic, according to the Department of Justice, is something like one in every 58. Obviously far too high, but not one in five. If you're one in five, by the way, if you're a woman at this campus, you should go to your parents and ask them what kind of nuts they are to send you in a war zone where you're likely to be raped. Okay. How about the idea that, that gays and lesbians are really living under the boot of American society? Well, in terms of income, they certainly aren't. Okay, certainly not in terms of income. Women and lesbian couples make far more money than women and straight couples do. Men and gay couples make slightly less than men and straight couples, but same-sex couples with both partners in the labor force make $8,000 more per year than straight couples, and they are typically higher educated. Okay, so that talks about the identity politics, this intersectional hierarchy of the left. But there's another group that engages in identity politics that I want to talk about now. And it's the battle between the identity politics of the left and the identity politics of the so-called alt-right that is really making the country a significantly worse place, and it needs to stop now because it is utter and complete horrible bullshit.